Okay, let's try this again. So, obviously, I've been having technical difficulties this morning with my USB drive not wanting to work, spilling water on my laptop. And overall, just trying to get things to work when it comes to crafting. Right now, I uh, should have more videos coming this week. I apologize for the long wait and the hold off. I've just been dealing with work in life and stress and fun stuff like that so yay oh what we are doing today and i really wish i knew where my green string went uh, oh that's because it's behind my computer fudge hey you get lifted up for a minute and you get pointed at my altar Yes, yes it is. Because I double checked setting before I started. That was that whole test one, two, three thing I just did a few minutes ago. Oh uh, yeah, this has been this morning. So, without further ado, hi. As you can see, I now have twinkly lights on my altar. They're star lights. Originally going to go on the porch, but right now we don't. I don't have nails to put into it to do so. So that's what we're going to do with other lights later. So what I've been doing this week, I've been gardening, I've been cleaning. I now have sage, mint, and pretty flowers all over my porch, along with the strawberry plants. I'm looking forward to those when they come. And yay! Starbucks brought back the uh, s'mores. Taste of summer in your coffee. Apparently, it's melting off. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? We're only doing pot painting. Not that kind of pot. Little terracotta pots. Can they get these at Walmart for about 38 cents, I believe it was, for one? Or you can get the bigger ones for like 50 to 75 cents or they just go up in price. You can get as big as you want. One thing we're going to do is we're going to paint them. This one's already been pre-painted. Believe it or not, the paint actually dries really fast on these. So that's really good because it's not a lot of paint that you need to put on these. And we're stringing them. You can if you want. You can get uh, beads or something and put them on the string as well and then make sure they can hit the thing. It doesn't make that big of a noise. One thing you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to make knots in it to keep the pots from falling off obviously. What the main purpose of these will be, will be decoration on your porch, your patio, around your altar, or your house, or whatnot, because you can hang them like this, hang them like this, which is how I'm going to hang them. I'm stringing a couple on here that have yet to be painted. I can paint them while they're on the string. It'll make it easier, actually. Um, one thing you want to do, because these are two to two inch pots, they're pretty much the terracotta kind of clay pots so you can pretty much find them anywhere they're pretty decently cheap and to help get the tags off of it a little bit of water card and screw There. I actually have made another one of these that's hanging on my porch. If you follow me on Twitter, you will you can see it in my pictures. And you can also see my flower garden and everything that we've done on the porch so far. So far is what it looks with. I'm only doing three deep on each. Why? Because I have enough to make two of these. I bought six of these little pots. Yep. 
you can do multiple things with these. You can make them into hanging ornaments. You can just paint the pots and make the pots into little mint pots or other pots. For me, they're going to be purely decoration for my porch. I have enough pots. <laughs> oh, my porch is full of stuff right now. If you notice, there's a longer gap. I don't like that. I try to keep them as even as possible. Not my OCD, just it'll bug me. Mm. Oh. Twine is very fun to untie. But with these fun little terracotta pots, you can do uh, a variety of things. Not only can you just paint them and have fun with them that way, you can also uh, take stones and other things with glue, put them in the pots, let them dry obviously and sometimes overnight because you can do this with the deca stuff as well. You can get little uh, gnomes or whatnot, make them into little fairy houses. How you do that is you uh, you take them. Okay, much more better. Not really. It irritates me. You can take them and uh, while you're working on them, take a little hammer or such, lightly tap an area for a few until you get a crack or a break and uh, then you have to be very careful when you break it so that you don't shatter the pot. Um, it's preferred to do those on bigger ones because the smaller ones have a more chance of breaking. Um, I actually broke one completely by doing that. It was not pretty, but it is now part of my very garden that I have outside. I have a little sunflower tin that has that I got for Easter. That is now my fairy garden, and I'm waiting for the flowers inside of it to grow. It should be cute. See, the hole isn't big enough to take it. Sometimes you have to. Make it bigger. You do that very, very carefully. And if you have kids, you would want to do this part yourself. Okay. That should be a big enough bowl for the string to stop being a jerk and go through. <sighs> Another fun thing to do with these, and I have with, uh, one of mine out there is I have one of the pots upturned and with it being upturned ha -ha, I was able to take uh, these I got a bunch of the uh, water beads 
put water in it, obviously, and they came out to being like this. Squishy, squishy, squishy. These are water and they become fun little balls and everything. Um, as far as I know, they're non-toxic, but I wouldn't eat them or let your pets eat them. They work good in plants. You can actually take plants and put them into these and it will keep them wet and moist and watered. And the roots will grow around the balls. So the soil. Um, I normally put it on top of the soil to help keep the soil wet and moist for the plants. So, yeah, ideally, this is what you want to do. Obviously, I'm going to have to put a knot straight down here. Yeah, when you mess up and you have to uh, fix your mess up. Do, 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 do. Ingenuity. But like my mom said, we can't all be perfect. Can't all be her. That's a joke, though. My mom will be the first to admit she's not perfect. Unless you ask my dad, then my dad would say, yes, my mom's perfect. My mom would laugh at him and say, no, I'm not. I actually kind of like it better this way. Two are closer, one on the bottom, because I'm going to add something into this. And also for storage. They stack that easily. So, what you want to do, like I said, is paint them, decorate them the way you want to, hot glue things on them, do what you want. You can use these for planting, you can use these for decorations, you can use them as craft ideas, you can do whatever. Like I said, the world is your oyster when it comes to making fun crafts for your balcony and your garden to lighten things up. So because it is spring summertime, I'll be doing a lot more videos on fun things for the gardens and fun things for your home. And if you want to know how this goes in with pagan witchy stuff, just stop and think about it. You're crafting, you're creating. You're doing your own type of magic right there. So with that, I'm going to say blessed be.